Rami X back in another video. I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as I do want to hit 25k before Christmas. Speaking of Christmas, another holiday is Halloween. And as I record this on October 31st, I um, believe that a Halloween special is in order. And thus, today I bring to you, what if Naruto went trick-or-treating? The title might be a little bit different um, depending on when it's released. Um, but for the general aspect, it is sort of Naruto when trick or treating. I promise you, it's just not going to be Naruto going door to door. It's going to be very, very different than that, and um, a huge reveal at the end. So, with that being said, I hope you guys can sit back and relax for the um, duration of this video. This has been Rami X, and um, what if Naruto went trick or treating? We begin the story off with Naruto trick-or-treating. I am sorry if this video seems fast-paced. It is 11.50, and I want this out on Halloween night, guys. So I'm kind of going to have to speed it up. I lost track of time. I just got home from a friendly gathering. And now I'm here to record this video. Naruto would be going door-to-door -door within the leaf village. It would be then that he stops upon a home. His first house of the night, actually. And nobody answered, but it was clear that people were home. And thus, Naruto continued to knock until a middle-aged man came out with a Jonin headband on, as well as obviously the matching attire of a Jonin vest. Naruto later smiled at the man. Trick or treat, Naruto said as he extended a bag which had one candy in it. The man scoffed at Naruto. And it was then that each and every single time that Naruto would ask somebody for a piece of candy via, you know, trick or treat by knocking on their door and then asking, they all turned him away. Not a single person accepted him for who he was, all seeing him as merely the Nine Tails Demon Fox. They didn't even bat an eye. Most of them didn't even answer their doors, let alone actually see Naruto. And if they did, Naruto was met with spit to the face or even threats. With that being said, it was then that Naruto now sat alone in the middle of Konoha. As a few boys who were no older than 10 years old came walking past him. To be clear, this Naruto is about 11. With that being said, Naruto sat there in silence, his eyes even a little bit watery, as, well, could you blame Naruto for wanting to cry? He was rejected by everyone in the village, and only got one piece of candy in the whole entire night. With that being said, the boys laughed at Naruto. <laughs> it's the demon fox brat that... Our parents always tell us to stay away from him. <laughs> He's not so bad, is he? All sour, so sour and pouty. Well, your name's Naruto, right? Did you get any candy? Want to trade? Naruto would say nothing as he sat in silence. The boys took this as a sign of disrespect, as they would ask louder. Naruto would then yell out that he would show them, but that he unfortunately got no candy at all. The boys laughed. <laughs> no candy. What a loser, they would say as they walked off. It was more of a storming off, but it was all the same. With that being said, Naruto sat there now in silence. He was quite literally broken. Snap. Now this is where the story is going to take a turn for the worst. Um, this may seem very sporadic, but I just want to let all of you guys know that this is a... Um, a like Halloween special so it's not gonna be the most serious video this necessarily isn't like this m probably wouldn't happen in the canon well you know it's a what if but um there's obviously other like logistic parts that have to go into this like Naruto seal so Naruto in this moment would unleash the QB 
But in the canon, of course, Naruto at this point, seal is way too tight for the QB to even have any hold on Naruto's body. But for the sake of this what if, that is just going to have to be possible. Naruto would now transform into the full Ninetales Shinjuriki. But for a little bit, it was just one tail after another. And slowly but surely, he, he got stronger and stronger. He would start to cause havoc within the Leaf Village. And each and every single villager that turned him away would regret it. With that being said, nobody could stop Naruto and his state. The third Hokage being way too weak at this point, and every single Joni in the Kage level ninja being either absent from the village or, well, unable to deal with the problem at hand, the village was subject to a severe amount of destruction. Without the Uchiha clan backing them, they had many casualties. It was then that they would seal the Nine Tails back within Naruto before later killing him, to avoid an incident like this ever happening again. It would be Kakashi Hatake who would seal away the Kyuubi within Naruto once more, and Might Guy who would subdue the Nine Tails using the Seventh Gate. With that being said, the Jonin to kill Naruto was actually not a full Jonin, a special Jonin. Ebisu. Ebisu, seeing Naruto as a threat to the village and knowing that this may or may not happen again, would end Naruto's life in an attempt, in an attempt to, uh, quote unquote, save his village. With that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. This is literally the end. Um, it ends with a catastrophe within a leaf village. Naruto actually dies, and this is a horrible Halloween. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. Maybe you laughed a little. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you ate something while you watched this. Maybe you just smiled, and I'm so thankful for that. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button as I do want to hit 25k before Christmas. Join my Discord server in the link in the description down below. You can support the channel in many different ways, also via the links in the description down below. And with that being said, this has been RamiX, and RamiX out.